Thai princess Ubon Rat married an American 50 years ago. Her parents, the king and queen of Thailand, didn't accept her choice, as they believed that a commoner should not have become her husband. So they stripped her of her title. Ubon Rat stayed in the United States. How has her life turned out since then? What trials did she have to go through? And what does she do now? Keep watching to find out. This is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! Thailand has had a monarchy for over 800 years. The king is the head of state and has a huge influence on the lives of citizens. According to Thai law, people who criticize or insult the king and his family could be jailed from 3 to 15 years. Wajil Longkorn has been the king of Thailand since 2016, and before that his father, Pumipon Adunyadet, was on the throne for 70 years. He was perhaps the most beloved ruler in the history of Thailand. His oldest daughter was Princess Ubonrat, which I will talk about in this video. Her story is not typical of the Thai monarch, because she always was a rebel and broke all the rules. Her parents gave her a lot of freedom. Princess Ubonrat was born in Switzerland and raised in Thailand. From childhood she was called Her Royal Highness. Her father's net worth, according to Forbes magazine in 2010, was 30 billion dollars. Just imagine in what luxury the young princess grew up. As a teenager, Princess Subanrat was fond of sports. Together with her father, she received a gold medal in sailing at the Southeast Asian Games in 1967. Two years later, she went to study in the USA. The princess set off for Boston to study nuclear physics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. During her studies, Ubonrat fell in love with her American classmate Peter Jensen. The couple decided to get married. However, the royal family could not accept the girl's choice, because her beloved man was a foreigner and also a commoner. The king and queen of Thailand put their daughter in front of a choice. If she marries an American, she will lose her royal title. Bunrat chose love without hesitation. I just couldn't be a person, she said, but now I'm no longer royalty and I'm free. The Thai princess became the wife of a commoner and began to live like an ordinary woman. She received her master's degree, settled in California, and took the name Julie Jensen. For many years she didn't visit Thailand. The former princess lost all her privileges. In this marriage she gave birth to three children and began to work. It was such a simple life. Probably the people who saw her at that moment could not imagine that once this woman was called Her Royal Highness and the servants bowed to her. Ubon Rat calmly reacted to the loss of royal privileges, but at the same time she continued to feel responsible to ordinary people and in 1992 created her own foundation, which supported children orphaned by HIV-related illnesses. But the life of a commoner was not as easy as it might seem. She had to endure many hardships. Ubon Rat's middle son was autistic and required special attention. Relations between husband and wife became more and more tense every year. And in the end, in 1998, after 26 years of marriage, they divorced. The former princess, along with her kids, decided to move to her homeland in Thailand. But soon a real tragedy happened in her life. Her son, Pum Jensen, tragically died in the Indian Ocean tsunami. He was just 21. Uban Rat took the loss hard. It was the most heartbreaking incident, but I had to move on, she said in an interview. And if I had to live, I had to live a good life, I had to succeed and live a prosperous life. 
However, despite the creator ordeal, she retained a good heart. Therefore, she opened a foundation for helping children with autism and other disorders and named it after her late son. In Thailand, the princess decided to try herself as an actress. She appeared in several films and soap operas. She sang songs at talent shows, revealed her acting talent and became a real celebrity in her country. No member of the royal family could afford anything like this. Usually kings and his relatives strictly follow the protocol and in the eyes of the people look out of reach. Monarchs are considered sacred in Thailand. But Ubon Rat was an exception, she has never regained her royal title, so as a commoner she could afford much more than the rest of the royal family. For this simplicity people love her so much. Ubon Rat eventually abandoned her acting career and decided on another bold act. She entered politics and in 2019 became a candidate for the Prime Minister of Thailand. This was very unusual, because members of the royal family had never taken part in the political life of the country. Ubon Rat said that she no longer had royal titles, so she, as a commoner, wanted to do her best to improve life in Thailand. However, her plans were not realized. Her older brother and the current king of Thailand, Rama Ten, rejected her candidacy, as members of the royal family cannot participate in politics. Ubon Rat said, I am sad that my honest intentions to work for the country and all ties have resulted in a problem that should not arise in this day and age. The princess continued to do charity work and take part in royal ceremonies. She founded an anti-drug foundation with millions of members. She didn't become prime minister, but she continued to help people in any way she could. Princess Ubonrat is 71 today. It's hard to believe, because she looks much younger than her years. Perhaps her secret of youth is that she always listens to her heart and did what she wanted. In her student years, she chose love and lived like an ordinary mother of three children. But then she realized that her place was in the royal family and her vocation was to help people. She always felt free, did what she wanted and therefore many admire her courage. Do you think she could be a good prime minister? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.